So the greatest challenge or dare I say opportunity is getting more even distribution and sort of getting the whole world at scale to address what ultimately be our food shortage in the future. What we're doing is really making the same biology that you get from the fish you eat. If you catch a tuna out of the ocean, we're basically making that same tuna at a cellular level. What we're doing is growing a cell of an animal instead of growing the whole animal. I really do think we have to evolve to an ecosystem mentality where the value pool for what I'm trying to do in the future could come from a variety of different places. And so we need to come up with, best estimates say, roughly 70 million tons of new production by 2050 to meet the projected demand. 70 million tons is roughly a third more fish production per year than we make today. So it's a huge supply gap. If we start reimagining that I don't need land, for example, and I don't need the traditional vehicles by which I produce food, well, now, can you imagine that? That footprint can be anywhere. To hear more, find this episode of PwC's Take On Tomorrow on your favorite podcast platform or head to pwc.com forward slash take on tomorrow.